still says offline. What's going on? All right. Am I broadcasting? You guys see me? Like I said, I'm just going to kill a little bit more time while people trickle back in or refresh. Uh, trying to get my monitor back on. Sorry about that. Uh, my whole internet crashed. I lost connection to everything, to Twitch, to Steam. So maybe it was an ISP reset. Maybe something's loose in the streets of Berlin. Blame time. Uh, let's see. Blame my cable company. Okay. I think I'm connected back to Steam. All right. I'm back. Okay. Thanks. Oh, boy. I'm, I'm not logged in over here. All right. Well, we can deal with that later. Okay, great. Sorry about that, everyone. All right. Good. We're back. Let's get back into this. My apologies. My whole internet crashed. Um, so, all right. A little delay, but we are back. I paused the game. I noticed it immediately because everything just fell apart. So, you didn't miss anything. We're right back where we were. Um, DevM's got nice control. T70's out, T34 is in good shape, although could use some repairs, lots of infantry. Barton's recaptured his mortar. He's got some double LMG Grens coming out. He saved his P4, it's being repaired. He's trying to cap some territory on the flanks. The Opel Blitz truck is bringing in, look at it, even while paused, <laughs> bringing in fuel and munitions. Okay, so once again, sorry, here we go. Let's do this. Back in game, we're following Barton PL playing the Oster, and um, this is game two. I think two Grens died instantly to a T-34 shot. Sorry, I missed that. And they're going to retreat, get reinforced. DevM's pretty much covering all the bases. So what would you guys talk about when I was gone, huh? Don't forget to pay the internet tomorrow. Hardy har har. Very funny. Uh, that happens every once in a blue moon. Uh, hopefully it won't happen again, but um, it has happened. Uh, one, of, one of my problems is that I've got this cable modem that takes a really long time to reboot, which sucks. It takes like a minute and a half to reboot, which in this day and age I find to be absolutely ridiculous and unacceptable, but I complain and they wouldn't give me a better modem or anything. They're just like, deal with it, talk to the hand. So that's what happened. The ISP reset. My modem had to reboot, re-log in, all that jazz. All right, well, P4 has found a potential target. It's a stranded T70 up in this corner of the map. We've seen a lot of fun fights up in here. I remember in a game there was a SU-85 back into that very corner. In another game, something tried to sneak back here into this corner. Um, but it looks like there won't be any fights to try to save that T70. Pop it goes. And Barton gets himself a kill. You know, his his army is kind of outmatched, but he's playing smart. He's trying to use his um, area of effect weapon to to pick away slowly the center. And he managed to come out here and kill the T-70. So that's impressive, you know. DevM really should not have let that happen. But he has built a counter mortar. So he can try to, we might see some uh, mortar battles can see these uh, medics are up in effect. That's something that we didn't see at all last week. We didn't see any Wehrmacht medics. But now finally, Barton has shown us that players still do build medic bunkers in their base to heal up, heal up their guys. And I think, you know, Barton's saying, you know, if, you know, DevM, if, if you're gonna win this, I'm gonna make, make it absolutely as hard for you as I possibly can. And I really appreciate that spirit. Barton's charging forward. He's got triple back friends. We have the barrage ability launched on the Ziz, and that can be deadly to infantry. That looked like it should have been a direct hit. But somehow Barton walked right through it. I think, wow, I wonder if Devin canceled the ability or if it just ran out. The, the T-34 is having a little bit better luck, but man, Devin seems like just all of his units are missing. What is up? The, the P4 is flanking, a big quarter round coming in, but not killing guys once again. Oh, it's everywhere. I wish I could show you everything, but I can't. There's too much going on. Focus on the south part of the battle. DevM's retreating. It's all just sort of popped off at once. I'm actually kind of glad we crashed when we did and not in the middle of this fight. Because this is some hot action. Both orders are plugging away and it's hard to keep track of the damage they're doing. This squad almost goes down. They got Molotov by a squad that's now in this church. 
Um, Barton's trying to mortar this this fixed position. These guys are trying to repair, and this this Zist is going to have to reposition. Bang! That's the money shot. That's the bullseye killing those combat engineers before they're able to bring that engine back to life. Meanwhile, Barton's uh, move over in the top is very successful. This this P4 was able to shift in the zone, fight in the center a bit, and then move back to the the flank harass, which was his original plan. As Barton's mortar just kind of plugs away. Look at that, 10 kills for this recaptured mortar. Not bad at all. That's not Ivan, that's DevM. Ivan's already waiting for the winner of these games. All right, the Grens are back. They're gonna lead for this mortar. They're gonna spot some targets in the center. Meanwhile, this is where the fight is. On the west. <laughs> the poor T-34 is making his way over slowly. Does Devon even have, I don't know what to show you, there's so much going on, we got capping, we got an infantry fight, we got a mortar and Grens pushing out to the center. Look at, look at Devon, this house is so low health, he could lose this entire five man FG squad if this house goes down. He's gonna get out before it happens. Oh, 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 just in the nick of time, too. The mortar takes it down, but now he's reset up and Viking over here. Is so much going on. Can he save that MG or will he get shot in the back of the head by three squads of LMGs? Boom. Another T-34 is on the field. Uh, I just want to check DevM's army super quick to see if he has any po uh, combat engineers and he doesn't. So he will need to build some if he ever hopes to fix this T-34 up. It does not want to take on this P-4 by itself. Barton's doing a two-pronged attack. Very unfortunate. This T-34 gives his retreating grenadier, which now lies in its eternal grave there in the center road of, of Semolski. Barton's push in the north has been dealt with. We have a blitz to zip around the corner, avoid getting ATK'd, and avoid entirely any rounds from the Ziz. He got into cover, but now the Ziz is repositioning. The T-34s are coming. It's time to back out. Blitzkrieg still going. Oh, boy, you might want to run a little further. Uh, sorry, P-4. A new P-4 is in the center. He's got an, uh, he's got an MG upgrade. We've got an off-map off, off -map ability coming in. That must have been launched by Barton. It's gonna be, whoa. No, I'm oh, sorry, that's a straight by DevM. And it will chase those guys away. And what did I miss? I, it sounded like something big died. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know what, what, what it was. I heard something explode. There's too much going on. My kingdom for a co-caster. Just kidding, I didn't try that hard, although I did try a little bit. The problem is there's a lot to set up and it's just, you know, with, with somebody I haven't done it with before, it's, it's difficult uh, to get all the mic levels and all this jazz, so more work for me. But I will try. Hopefully Marcus will join me again next week. Um, Barton has come back, shall we say. I mean, he doesn't have real map presence yet, but look how he remands units in the nick of time and preserves the health of his tanks. Wow. Thing had wonderful success. It the, this this MG just took that that this gun out. It's 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 suppressing these Urada conscripts and is DevM starting to show kinks in the Soviet play? Is he is he letting this slip? Doesn't want to lose any tanks. That's for sure. We got we got double blocks. to save it. No, he doesn't save it. The P4 falls. A good kill by DevM. A very good kill. He's got two T-34s and very little help. Hopefully a mortar won't kill them. I've seen it happen. No, it definitely won't happen. This T-34 killed that mortar. It had a, it had a, at least a dozen kills. We have a flank with this Faust and the career of this T-34 is done. That's a very good hit for Barton. You're always fortunate when you can kill a tank with a Faust. So, maybe it's not so bad. Maybe Barton's still in this. A lot of conscripts coming. They've got PPSH now. Took a long time to get the upgrades, but they're in. 
And they're going to chase these Grenadiers and Pioneers out of this portion of the map as they cap. And you guys were ordered to retreat. Why don't you go ahead and do it? This P4 getting repairs. The T-34s a little low on health. Does DevM have an engine here yet? Still want to know. Yes, he did build one. And Bart getting aggressive. He's going to hop in here take a poke. It was just a stick and run, though. He knows that he doesn't want to take on the the main gun of two tanks at once, even though one of them's in bad shape. But man, Barton working the map. He's up here too. He's harassing constantly. This game, better than last one. Uh, last one was good, but this one's just more violent. We've seen casualties from both sides. We've seen Barton trying to cling into this game. He's building a new P, uh, P4 to replace the one he lost. I'm curious to the Opal Blitz. I mean, is, is this why Barton's P4s keep coming? Was DevM not aggressive enough in the early game when he could have perhaps closed the door? These are the questions that will be asked very seriously if DevM is not able to carry this through. Oh boy, if a mortar gets killed by an MG, you're doing something wrong. P4 is like, hey, you. Hey, what are you doing? Captain this VP. Get out of here. MG's like, man, I was doing well against the mortar. All right, I'll go. Okay, finally, Combat Engineers get to lay in some repairs. As Barton, nice push, combined arms, tank, and infantry into the eastern ammo position and VP point. Double deck conscripts doesn't want to lose them. They retreat quickly. All. Fairmont Fire will be focused on them as they dance through. Oh, main gun of the P4 misses. Lucky for them. Barton has a, has the new P4 on the field. It's wondering where to go. Commander said go west. Now he's saying go east. These guys are doing well. They're harassing points. He's keeping Debem on his toes. Another T-34 is out. Earlier, if you remember, we saw four T-34s against a Tiger and a P4 in Vindicar versus Love Glory Peace. That was hot. How many how many tanks can these guys collect before the tension is released again? You dudes are surrounded. Bart knows it. And when you're outgunned, it's best to retreat. Minimize casualties. Fresh P4 retaps the center. And DevM is just being run around. Can't seem to put a good push in. T-34 has made it quickly back to the center. And these conscripts are really low. They are able to throw a long distance 18 days. Get triple that. Kill some Grens before they have to retreat. These Grens put in, you know, take the tat, put in an eight, uh, a Faust to damage the engine of that T-34. Oh, look at this. Three, three, four, two, three, four. This is hot. Come on. This is hot. Look at this. Oh, man. We got some action, fog of war. They can't see each other. But we see telephone poles falling, wires, sparks. Just gonna creep forward. There's all those baddies. And the fight resumes. Bit impotent. Not, not good penetration happening at the moment. This could take a long time. Uh-oh. The fourth T-34. We're on the Eastern Front. In the flesh, here it is. It is ours. Barton's also there. 27 minutes in, these guys are getting their armies ready for another huge fight. And I am excited to see how it goes down. Guys, Tell me in the chat who you think has got the advantage at the moment. Oh, hi, four T-34s. How you doing? I don't think these frontiers are from Brooklyn, but you never know. Faust and run. A little skirmish up here, it's important. That's a VP. But I want to keep my eyes on the main fight. Barton, we got a repair squad. Devin calls in a strafe. Guys are retreating, getting heals in the base. DevM is gonna succeed in the west. Kills the Grenadier squad. Wake up, Barton. Time to leave. 
Get out of there. Is he microing in the center, perhaps? One P4. But did he kill a T34? How did I miss that? How did I miss that? He got one. Oh man, Dev, I'm going for it. The armor is pushing forward. Oh, another T34 down. What was that? No, that must have been an earlier one. Okay, Devin retasked one of the four T-34s to go west. And now has to bring it back. He's starting to lose this fight in the center. But look at this skirted up gorgeous P4 type fighting. Tooth and nail. It dies and playback over. Oh my goodness. Barton throws in the towel. GG. Hell of a game. Look at that. Just as the shot lands and the sparks fly. Whoa, kaboom. Barton really fought and fought and fought, but he just could not do it against Dev M who protected the VIPs. Whoa, whoa, he didn't turn he didn't throw in the towel, he ran out of VIPs. <laughs> I had no idea that he had been drained to zero. What a moment. GG Dev M, well played. Stick with us. We're going to the ace game, and that is at least seven allies wins in a row. Stick with us. We'll be back with game number three.